Deep within the heart of Florida's coastal wilderness lies Hog Island, a place shrouded with mystery and folklore. The thick mangrove swamps and their twisted roots and murky waters are said to be the home of the infamous Swamp Witch, a figure woven into the very fabric of local legend. It's in the twilight hours that the witch is rumored to emerge, her silhouette blending with the shadows of the trees. Locals whisper tales of her long flowing hair that resembles the Spanish moss hanging from the branches and eyes that glimmer like the stars from above. Adventurers who dare to seek her out often find themselves lured by the promise of ancient knowledge and powerful magic. Some say she can heal the gravely ill or offer guidance to lost souls. Others warn that crossing her path could lead to curses and dark spells. Many have returned from their quest with wild stories of strange encounters, the echo of her laughter mingling with the croaking of frogs and rustling of trees. It is said that the Swamp Witch guards her secrets jealously, only appearing to those who show genuine courage and respect for the Swamp's delicate balance. Those who wish to learn her ways must navigate through the treacherous waters where the alligators lurk and the calls of unseen creatures fill the air. Yet for those brave enough to tread carefully, the rewards could be immense. Perhaps a glimpse into the mysteries of nature or a taste of the otherworldly powers she wields. But beware. The swamp is not just a beautiful backdrop for your pictures. It is alive with its own dangers. The witch's enchantments can lead the unwary astray, and the swamp can shift and change, turning familiar paths into labyrinth traps. Every time that I talk about Hog Island, I normally focus on the legend of the swamp witch. Recently, it has come to my attention that there are other legends surrounding that forest. I read there's legends about pirates back in the day. I also read about refugees. Um, the pirates and the refugees, they hid there and possibly some buried treasure. And I also heard that there were lynchings in that forest back in the day. So there's a lot, a lot of things going on at Hog Island and a lot of spirits and things linger around and things we probably still don't even know to this day. What's up guys? Welcome back. Tonight we are camping. It is dark as shit. <laughs> And we are camping on Hog Island. Now, there is a legend here that this used to be a town called Croon, and there was a witch that somebody told on and they killed her. And there's a legend that she still lingers around here and she scratches on tents. Um, also, I did read something else about people saying that there were a lot of lynchings in this forest back in the day so we are here tonight we are camping out this is the first time I've ever done a video camping out all night so tonight we are gonna try to communicate with the spirits out here on Hog Island and see if there really is a swamp witch I did talk Willie into doing the Estes method with me so I'm excited for that Is that her light? Oh, I don't know. We've already been hearing stuff. We've been out here for a while, but we kind of forgot our food and had to go back and get it. And I was starving. So we ate first. Now it's on to investigating. I do have my REM pod. Um, I have the light up balls. I have the e necrophonic, the EVPs, the EMF. 
We're gonna see what we can get. Let me. Mugwort's gonna stay here. All your damn jingles keep getting me every time I hear them. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. Are there spirits out here that want to communicate with us? Is the person they call the Swamp Witch out here. There are devices I placed out here that you can mess with. There's a black box over there you can go near. There's a ball right there that'll light up. There's two other balls right there that'll light up. Try the other, the spirit talker before we do the the Estes method. You say what? We'll try the spirit talker before we do the the blindfolded Estes method. It's gonna be creepy as hell sleeping out here tonight. Mm -hmm. Definitely fun. Say so definitely fun. Mm -hmm. Either of you guys ever camped here? No. no. Not here, no. Nope, neither one of us. Did this used to be a town called Croon? I still visit my family. Well, that's very nice of you. I would still visit my family too. See how they were doing. Am I talking to the witch that was killed?
You guys can use this phone to talk to me. Sense of death. I thought something got thrown at you for a second. Sense of death. I feel like it's always saying something along those lines, but in different words. That's weird. It was. There's two of us. And the bad thing is, is I was literally getting ready to ask yeah. how many were with us right now. It read my mind. That was creepy. How did you die? Him? What about him? The two of you, can you go near any of my devices that I've pushed or put out? Can you go near that black box? Jeff. Is that your name? Jeff? Is that a name of the Oh, why is it like that? What's the other person's name? Not a lot's coming out. Surprise, not a lot's coming out. What happens if they speak another language? Then you're going to tell me what they say? <laughs> yeah, I will, but like, you know, like. Keep walking. Yeah. Keep walking? I'm not walking anywhere right now. Are you telling somebody else to keep walking? Hmm? 
What if somebody was walking down the road and then that was the spirits telling them to keep walking? That's a little creepy. That's the first time I've seen it drive by. Was it? But it's, the other times it was light, so it I was gonna say it was. Light. It's dark out now. Yeah, but I could tell by the sound of the truck. Just the same. Well, that's creepy. First thing that thing spoke, like my heart dropped to my butt. I was like, so the app that I'm gonna put you on, mm -hmm. there is Spanish that comes through there. Oh, it is. Okay. So I mean, if you hear it and know it, say it. If you don't, like I said, just keep going. I'm scared of what I'm gonna hear, but I'm also like so curious, and I do don't play. It was on my leg. I just knocked him off. He's right there. Mm -hmm. Dang he's beetle. Scared. He's trying. It looks like them cartoon beetles. Oh, that felt good. If energy goes near it, it'll light up and make a noise. And then we have the ball. There's a couple of these. They just light up. Maybe I have to put this over here by that. We can whisper. Can you whisper what you're trying to tell me? We're gonna get this ready. Let's go first. I'm innocent. You're innocent? Look, this is all I got for a blindfold. Hey, maybe it's me reaching, but isn't that like what a person would say when they're about to, you know, like get murdered because they were called a witch. I'm innocent. Mm -hmm. Everybody says they're innocent. No, it oh, it is going off. Oh. 
I just heard something back there. Can you go near the device beside it? Or do you just like the ball? I think it's been going for a while. It has been. Oh, my camera is going to shut off. Okay, so what is that up there for? Just wondering. Oh. Someone was walking. All right, guys, I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm sorry that I had to cut this video up, but it is so long. Okay, so I'm really sorry. I know right now you're like, are you serious? He's in my hair. But I, 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 I get it, I get it. I would have loved to have made this one big video. But it's so long, it's way too long for me to make one big video. And I also don't think everybody would sit and watch the whole video. He's stuck in my hair. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't go there already, but he's stuck in my hair. So, you guys have some more to look forward to every Saturday until it's done. Also, I interviewed both of my friends that went with me. This whole night, I had so many different things going on and and it like, I don't even know how to explain it so many weird mysterious things happened that I literally was like no I need to interview you guys about this I need to interview you guys about this so you have a lot you're about to find out He's going around my back. Ah! He's by my ear. Or he's coming on my neck. It tickles. Oh, why are you going back? Come back around. Come back around. It's tickling. <laughs> I know you guys love the snakes, so I thought I'd get him out for this one. Oh my god, he's stuck in my hair. He's like, no. Oh, crap. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> what are you doing? Come back this way. Get out of my hair. Oh. Okay. Anyways, guys, I know you're mad at me for cutting this in parts, but I had to. I had to. You guys were not going to sit for hours upon hours. I had to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Stay tuned for the next part, and I also have other videos coming for you this month in between. Have a good night.